what kind of man is this? That was a question the followers of Jesus had, the closest followers of Jesus had, his very own disciples. Matthew chapter 8 records some events in the life of Jesus that were so spectacular that it just left his disciples in amazement. Matthew chapter 8 records a series of miraculous healings accomplished by Jesus. The chapter begins in verse 2 of Jesus healing a leper who then, of course, had a horrible skin disease. Verse 5 goes on to when he heals a servant of a centurion who was paralyzed. Verse 14 picks up with uh, Jesus healing Peter's mother-in-law who was sick in bed with a fever. After which he was healed, many came who were demon-possessed, and Jesus cast out spirits, evil spirits. Then in verse 28, still in Matthew chapter 8, Jesus crossed over uh, to the sea, and came upon two men who were demon-possessed, who were extremely violent. And he cast demons out of them. The disciples were amazed. And in between these healings is the instance where uh, Jesus came upon several men who wanted to follow Jesus. A scribe, verse 19, a scribe came to him and said, Teacher, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Verse 21, another of the disciples said to him, Lord, permit me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said, Follow me allow the dead to bury their own dead. Matthew 8 describes then how the disciples themselves did follow Jesus. They themselves had an awakening and experience with Jesus. Actually, they awakened Jesus when he was asleep. A great storm arose on the sea, verse 24, said that the boat was being covered with the waves, but Jesus himself was asleep. And they came to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you afraid, you men of little faith? Here are these disciples that were amazed by what Jesus had done. But Jesus looked at them and said, O oh, you men of little faith. What a contrast to the centurion whose servant Jesus healed earlier as described in the chapter when Jesus said in verse 10, Now when Jesus heard this, he marveled and said to those who were following. Remember later the disciples were amazed at what Jesus had done in spite of their little faith. Here, Jesus is marveling at the faith of the centurion. And Jesus said, Truly I say to you, I have not found such great faith with anyone in Israel. So it's interesting in these healing stories of Jesus healing people who with skin diseases, fevers, evil spirits, paralyzed, generally people who were outcasts, with the exception at least of Peter's mother-in-law here. Jesus said, follow me. It's interesting in the city, in the country of the uh, Gadarenes, where Jesus healed the demon-possessed men who were violent. Behold, the whole city came out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they implored him to leave their region. Our decision today, 
after meeting Jesus, hearing Jesus, do you leave him or do you follow him? What a 